let's hear so your I story. I live at the, at the end of Hoffman, and uh, it's it's a dead end road, and there's so many cars that come down there. A lot come down to look at the jets, and, and I understand that that's okay. But now anymore, I don't know who's coming down there, and it's affected my quality of life as far as sleep. Uh, I've got motion sensors for lights. They go off with a coyote or they go off with a car. If, if my lights come on, I'm up immediately seeing who's outside of my house. Um, my grandkids, they come over. I can't even take my grandson for a, a bike ride up to get ice cream at the store anymore because I'm not going to drive through that or dr ride my bike through that. And I'm not going to go out on 20. That's That road scares me anyway. Yeah. But... Um, and then, and then another thing about the camp there, the sheriffs have said all the, the needles that are on the ground, don't, don't do any cleanup. There's needles everywhere. Well, why isn't the Environmental Protection Agency getting involved here with the ground contamination? And how long is that ever going to take to clean up? Um, there's ponds over there um, with fish. That, that should I be hear, a concern. Yeah, and it's all kind of connected to the... Uh, environmental part of the whole right area of yeah. Harbor. yeah um the water from putting out the camper that burned that had to run down there um it's just quality of life I, i'm not one to put up trespassing signs but i put up trespassing signs dead end signs um, it's, it's just changed my quality of life a lot in a in a negative way and it's it's concerns uh, my wife is stressed out all the time now. Like I so said, you got people that just come up on your property. I have to go out and tell them probably once a week wow. to, to get off my property. Whether they're with these people or not, I don't know. I'm not going to find out. But, um, yeah, I guess the big thing is quality of life. So, I, guess, I don't know what else to say. It's, yeah. it's just been a mess.